They look like any other group of tourists kitted out with sunglasses and t-shirts. But these visitors to Venezuela have no interest in sun, sea and sand. They've come from the United States and Australia to see for themselves what everyday life is like here. They're traveling with a tour company called Global Exchange, which promotes socially responsible travel. You don't see too many tourists out and about in Caracas because the city has a reputation for being dangerous. But this is a reality tour and real life here for most people means taking public transport like the metro. Subsidized by the government, the metro is a lifeline for many workers in Caracas. The capital of oil-rich Venezuela is a big city with high levels of crime. A reality tour offers those who might not venture out on their own an opportunity to see how it works under the watchful eyes of a guide. part of Caracas are many of Venezuela's historic sites and government buildings, so it's one of the first stops on a tour that offers historical context and plenty of political commentary. Outspoken and charismatic President Hugo Chavez drew a lot of attention to Venezuela since he came into office 14 years ago. He's a controversial figure who's loved by supporters and loathed by opponents. His social programs have improved life for poor Venezuelans, but many in the private sector have been alarmed by his expropriations of property and businesses. Understanding why he provokes such different reactions from people is part of the allure of a visit to Venezuela for those on the tour. One of the things we ask is that they are here to listen. They are not here to change anybody's mind. And uh, for us, it's really important uh, that even though they don't agree, they don't jump into a discussion, rather to keep the, con the conversation running. Tour organizers try to offer a range of experiences and give visitors an opportunity to meet students, politicians, community leaders and activists. We try to show uh, the reality of the country through the people. The idea is to get together and, you know, having people relate together, you know, through meetings, through encounters, through meals even. Uh, sometimes we um, just pick random people on the street and we ask them to talk about what they think about the country. Caracas is sunny all year round with great open spaces, but the city has little tourist infrastructure, so it can be a tricky place for independent travelers to visit. It's our big neighbor, and we, for some reason, our governments, um, and I understand some of the reasons, don't like each other. And that impedes the people-to-people -people relationship. And would you have come independently or, or without a tour group? Oh, I would. And that's how we usually travel to meet people. But uh, it was very difficult to come down here directly from the United States to Venezuela on our own. So I would do it. I feel safe. It's a great country. But we did not feel that we had the capacity to even enter the country. It's difficult, and I feel I need the uh, enforcement, the know-how of other groups and they can explain things to me because I do not speak Spanish. While the cut and thrust of Venezuelan politics attracts some tourists, there are tour operators who believe the country should be selling its other attributes. We have seen the rest of the Latin American countries that have doubled the amount of tourist arrivals in the past 10 years. And I think Venezuela it has to do a lot of catching up. So it will take, it will take some time. It doesn't happen overnight. We have to be um, very realistic about it. But I think the efforts are being done. You have to have a country that's very safe. And you have to have a lot of safe conditions so that investors feel that their investment is also safe. 
So I think those things still have to be worked on. If you're thinking of traveling to Venezuela to sample the local food, you'll need plenty of US dollars as the country's official exchange rate is high. But most visitors can pick up a tourist visa on arrival at the airport.